I, I think it's very often how they approach making the game. And it feels like for Mechanicus, they went, 40k is kind of popular, what can we make that will fit in with that? You know, like, what type of game can we make? So they didn't go, let's make a 40k game that's fun. They went, 40k is popular, let's make an XCOM version with, you know, a lot of, a lot of change stuff, but let, let's make it like XCOM. Which isn't isn't necessarily going to turn out badly, but it, it does tend to mean that you you end up like like kind of half enthused about it, I guess. Uh, and that's the difference when when you when you get like a game where you're just like I don't really want to play this particularly. Um, and you get a game where you're like oh, I'm going to play more of this. Like RimWorld is a great example, you know. They very clearly had goals of the type of game they wanted to make, and they've kept working towards those goals. You know, they did take inspiration, but but don't uh, don't a hundred percent nothing. Uh, and also, we should put this as important, so we get every because there's like some herbal medicine over here and shit. But yeah, the basic moral of the story, guys, is um, is when you're making a chair. Uh, when you're making a chair. When you make it. I was looking at the. I clicked on the chair, and I was like, when you're making a game in my head, and my mouth went, when you're making a chair, just make a chair. Yeah, when you're making a game, um, like taking inspiration is fine, but you you want you have to have a type of game you want to make. You shouldn't you shouldn't fit the game. You shouldn't fit the game to a to a theme, you know, in the sense of like, uh, let's let's make a Superman game and let's make it like Assassin's Creed, you know. It should be like, let's make a Superman game and let's take inspiration from things, but we want to make it this, you know, like th this is what we want to make it, and we'll, we'll we'll do our best to kind of you know like make it the best game we can, instead of like. Let's do. I can, I can, I can honestly, legitimately see uh, a whole load of like, of like uh, financial dudes who work for these companies, like sitting around and going, you know, going, you know, like, what can we, what? So not a hundred orcs parachute onto an island and hey, look, you know, you guys, uh, like, a lot of you will know me and know my, you know. And you, pr you probably know my tastes in certain things, like, if someone made Battle Royale 40k, I'd probably play it, and I'd probably enjoy it. It doesn't mean it's a good game. Like, this is the thing people don't understand. I like lots of games that are not good games. They can... They, you know, they can be average games, or they can be kind of crappy games. They can be difficult to get into games, like all this kind of stuff, you know. Oh, transport force crash. Uh, yeah, like just because just because a game is bad doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. A child spy named Hogar. Hey, Hogar. It's a teenager, industrious, fast learner. Oh, cannibal. Um, we're not really taking humans. Oh my god. Could we deal with that, please? Guys? There we go. No, no. Didn't realize how bad the, uh... I, I didn't realize that, like... I guess it was a, um... I guess it was a dry thunderstorm, or like right at the end of the rain or something. New area has been revealed. Quest relationship. A prisoner being held by Lathena has managed to steal a radio and call you. Utogus is being held at a camp nearby. Two turrets, one mortar, and two enemies defend the site. He's the brother of Orc Silverwolf. Not really how Orcs work, but... Mm. We'd have to take two people with us. Maybe if we get one extra person, we can go and do that. 
we need to stop that. There we go. Ugh. Wonderful. Uh, financial dude sitting around table talking about games. Sounds like EA to me. I mean, it sounds like the majority of, um... Yeah, it, it, it sounds like the majority of gaming nowadays. There's so much money in gaming uh, that it's become another Hollywood. It's become another music industry, you know. In, in entertainment, when there becomes a lot of money, invariably a whole load of people show up wanting to exploit the system and get as much money as they can out of it. It's the same it's the same with like YouTube and Twitch. Like there are there are a whole load of people who don't particularly enjoy playing games, but they will make gaming videos and all that kind of stuff because there's a lot of money in it. Uh but now that now especially on YouTube, like they don't have to play games if they don't want to. There's so many different ways to uh There, there, there's so many different ways to, to you know, make money off YouTube. Although less now, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, uh, I remember, I remember I was searching for a game, and I stumbled onto uh, uh, booby streamers that are terrible at games, but like have like three three thousand subscribers. I, I mean. I don't really have a problem with that because at the end of the day you know there's a lot of guys as well who don't enjoy games particularly and still you know like you, you see so many streamers and and youtubers and stuff who who don't particularly enjoy the games they play but they play them because they get good numbers and that helps their growth and then you know Maybe later on they can play a game they like. And like, I've played games I didn't enjoy because they were getting good views. I played them past my enjoy. Like, Plague Inc. Evolved, uh, one of the biggest games ever on my channel in terms of like viewers and stuff like that. Um, I stopped enjoying that. There was nothing more to do in that game. But I kept doing videos for it because people kept watching those videos. Um. Uh, Blob Bowl 2 for different reasons I stopped enjoying. But yeah, I'm actually, I actually have this kind of like... Uh, I, I have something on that topic of like booby streamers and stuff like that. Which is that I was searching for this game and I found this video. Um, uh, friendly AI, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I, I found this video uh, done by this lady on the... Uh, uh, you know, fe featuring this game that I was searching for, and the thumbnail. Um, I don't. I honestly, I couldn't say honestly for sure whether I watched it because her thumbnail was like her in a really tight tank top with very obvious cleavage. I, I'd like to think I didn't do it like that on purpose, but I may have. You, you know, like I may have just been like, oh, tits, and also the game I want to watch. Cool, uh, but. I was like, oh, you know, she she wasn't she wasn't great, but I was like, oh, I'll watch the video, and I watched the video, and um, and I was like, I, I watched the video, and I was like, she's not particularly good at games, and she's not particularly entertaining, um. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to judge. Like, maybe the people who watch her and enjoy her, you know? Like, and and also, there's no difference between some other ways people make money on the internet. You know, like, bit, bit of cleavage, bit of, uh, bit of cleavage, bit of flirting, like, that kind of thing. You know, people watch, will watch anything and give money to anything. So, you know, fair play to her. But when I when I uh, I watched a few more of her videos and um, and all that kind of stuff, and I was like, I wonder if she's you know, I wonder where she's gonna go because she very clearly didn't really enjoy video games. And then like a month later, maybe was after after things like uh, please t t yeah put that out. 
a month later, maybe, like, the whole... There we are. Uh, the whole um, drama st drama channel stuff had been going for a little while, and uh, channels like uh, Grade A under A and Leafy is here. They were all in the they were all in the news, and everyone was talking about them, all that kind of shit. And then suddenly, her channel went from gaming with tits out to a news drama channel with tits out. And I was like, okay, she's she's just she's just doing everything that's currently popular to try and like ride the wave into stardom and YouTube celebrity and I think I think a lot of people don't even do it for the money specifically. I think they want to be like internet celebrities, you know, they wanna be they wanna be PewDiePie and Markiplier and, and all those kind of people. Uh, okay, so they prepare for a while and a, Oh the terrifying gang. He has a bolt action rifle, interesting. What if we get Radke and bring him down here? Uh, it needs to be a male streamer out there that has premium Snapchat, premium Patreon, and sells their underwear. I'm sure there is, Manny. Like the the thing is though is is the um the the nature of sexual relationships between men and women and men and men and women and women, like women traditionally aren't thirsty and wanting to you know I'm, I'm wanting to you know like there are there are exceptions but the majority of women don't tend to be like super aggressive sexually uh but i imagine that there are dudes who buy other dudes underwear um Uh, let's just strip this dude. Um, so yeah, you know that's the, it's it, the, this is the thing is that if there is a market for it, it exists. Um, when 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 call the bolt action rifle. Yeah, I just want to see what happened to him. Uh, hit with a projectile, big shooter slug, shot in the right leg, li shot in liver and torso. Uh, artistry damaged Chris in his left eye. I guess that was the headshot. Uh, collapsed because of gunshot in left eye. Uh, also shot him in the left arm as well at some point. So, well, how's his... It, he didn't lose anything. He's going to die, but he didn't lose anything. So, yeah, this, 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 is, this is the thing. Is like... There's, there's a really weird splitting at the moment from feminists. Which I, I find fascinating... Because there's a section of feminists who are like, my body, my life, you can't tell me what to do. And at the end of the day, I'm right there with them. I don't really care what they do. They can do whatever they like to their body and their life and their everything. It's not my business. But then you've also got uh, the sex purist feminists who... I don't know what their end goal is, but it seems like they don't want anyone to have sex ever again. And they're like, talking to women is violence. And I'm like, I don't understand what you're saying. And they're like, you just talk to me, that's violence. You assaulted me. And, I, you know, it's just like, what? It's, uh... Well, like th this is this is this is the thing. I didn't actually intend to talk about this stuff, particularly, but I, you know, it's the it's the kind of thing I can rant about because it it it's so bizarre to me. Uh, the the really interesting thing about this kind of like outrage culture, blah blah, is it's happening on both sides now, where where men also get really angry with women for saying things about men because women get really angry with men for saying things about women because men have men have like uh historically oppressed women just in general over history and over the world and like this is the thing is that hasn't happened for a while in western civilization in general like, since the suffragette movement, there's been a steady and slow shift 
towards freedom in general. And what we're, what we're seeing now is a really interesting shift where a lot of people are resisting those freedoms now uh, in the name of, like, equality. In the name of, in the name of good things, they twist shit up and they suppress freedom. So women, women who call themselves feminists, who, you know, you, you feminists used to want free love and, you know, they were hippies and they, um, and in the twenties, they, they like threw themselves in front of, like, regardless of what you think of those feminists, they, they, you know, a lot of it was, we want more freedom and we want, you know, you got the right to vote and all that kind of shit in there as well. Uh, and now, and now you have women who call themselves feminists, who don't, like, they, they want less freedoms, they, they, they want to take away people's freedoms, and it, it you know, it's, 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 it boggles my mind, because, because this, this is, this is a situation where, where people... This this is this is a situation where people are like, people legitimately sit down and they're like the int men want to oppress women, and I'm sitting there and I'm thinking about this and I'm like, I'm thinking about my everyday life and I'm like, men don't want to don't want to oppress women, people who are assholes want to oppress other people for power. The, in in terms of in terms of politics nowadays, um, there shouldn't. What, what have we got? Disease, malaria. Who's got malaria? Fuck. There's two of them. Who's my? Okay, close. Uh, put all of this up. So, Radke, do you have malaria? You've got awkward healing. You've got malaria. Okay, so who is our doctor? Uh, Urkel. Radke is going to have to be our doctor for now because he actually has the thing. But yeah, like, th this, is the, this, is, this is the thing that really, like, you know, it spins my head because it's like, you know... There's, there's the claim that women get paid less than men, right? Which has pretty much been debunked at this point, but people are still trying to argue that it's true. Uh, or that it, it's true for the reasons that they say it. It, it all gets really complicated and, and technical. But basically, the way I see it is, if, if there's an opportunity to pay someone less, the other person, the, the, the employer... Is going to pay the employee less because that's what business is. You can't like you can easily attach a racial or gender or whatever you know label to it and say it's because of this. But okay, let let's say I have, I have um let's say I have nine toes right. And I go and I apply for a job and I get paid less than someone else who's been working there for like a little bit longer than me. Um, I, I can I can say I'm being paid less because I have nine toes. Like, and then I can run around shouting about how everyone with ten toes is oppressing me because I have nine toes. It doesn't fucking make it true. I, I understand the sentiment behind it because there are legitimate instances of oppression and uh, people being assholes, but it has nothing to do with, I think, I think in general, uh, where if we take a hundred cases of women being paid less than a man in the exact same, you know, kind of situation, like there are probably instances of it. Uh, in the West, in the UK, if we take a hundred instances of it and really, like, got everyone to tell the truth and got all of the reasons, like, worked out and figured out and all this kind of thing, 
it would turn out that probably 90 of those out of 100 were just purely because people are arseholes and greedy. And employers don't want to play, pay employees more than they have to. That That's just... That's just how I see it, you know, and it's the same with a lot of other things. Uh, now, if we were, if we, if we were to go into the uh, into the instance of like police brutality and uh, shootings and stuff like that, I think that is slightly more racially charged, and um, you know, there are more legitimate instances. Uh, the the problem is, is that the the way it's handled is also racially charged in the opposite direction so you have a police officer shooting uh someone who's black uh and that is probably partly uh fear of the policeman you know bad training maybe they are a bit prejudiced uh maybe they're a bit more on edge around black people um and all these kind of things but at the same time when that happens the press takes it and they go anti the you know usually anti-white like i've i've seen instances where a a black uh, a black man has been shot by a police officer and everyone goes super anti-white in the sense of like oh white people are so racist and, and they're, they're they're police officers and they shoot they shoot black people and then it turns out that the police officer who shot the 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 other the black guy was also black and it's like people yeah people when they hear that people sometimes still go on the whole you know uh i think the the main i've gone on a bit of a rant about this but i think the main thing to take away from all of this that's the most important probably thing to take away from this is that very often very often there's no reason to racialize or gender a sentence and when there is, it shouldn't be the focus. It shouldn't be like, all men are assholes. It should be people are assholes. It shouldn't be, I was walking down the street and some guy shouted at me uh, because because he was a, a male asshole. It should be, I was walking down the street and some random dickhead was like shouting at me and it was annoying. And that that's not, that's not because, um, that's not because, you know, sometimes men are specifically assholes to women like shouting at them in the street that's because when you go onto twitter and you tell a story about how a guy did something to you that was an asshole thing to do uh, everyone who reads that uh women who read that read man and they re they they get angry about the man men who read that read man and they read me you know that's why men get defensive that's why women get angry and then they they clash against each other because the men are trying to be like well you're having a go at all men in this in this comment because you know why, why why do men always stare at women's butts it's because sex is the thing we shouldn't be you know we, we we shouldn't be ashamed of it and staring at a butt is perfectly fucking natural going up and pinching it is an asshole thing to do and incidentally i worked as a bouncer i worked as a bouncer for three years three and a half years i didn't i didn't have a single day at work working as a bouncer like you know working on the door going through the club all this kind of thing i didn't have a single day at work where i didn't get my ass grabbed no jokes so you can imagine how i feel uh, you can imagine how I feel when when I see a tweet that's like all all men are perverts and they just want one thing and they just harass women and grab them and I'm like yeah because women don't do that w women are perfectly nice sweet little flowers no if you really like equality you have to let women be assholes too how are we doing like this is gonna go really slowly I think because of the malaria Let's speed through the malaria, shall we? Something I didn't really want to say, but okay. May I be an orc? Uh, there's no spaces at the moment, Mark, but in general, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll work something out. So if we go to the world... 
do, 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 do. There was supposed to be a quest to go and save someone. And I don't know where it... I don't know how to look at the quests. Ah.